So my settings are for the pattern paper, which is the blade at four, and then I did the speed at four high, and then the pressure is at three medium. And you can see um, on your screen, um, right, it's hard to do holding the camera, right here that's your um, speed and then that's your pressure. So um, I usually look back on that and see, check, make sure my settings haven't changed. So um, I'm going to, oh, I thought I didn't move my blade. Good thing I double checked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert my mat. It's better if I stand up. Let's see. I can't see. It's getting dark in here. I think it's kind of a cloudy day today, unfortunately. Not a very good day to try to record this, that's for sure. <laughs> so I'm just going to do one letter because I'm not sure how this paper, like I said, I'm not a real big fan of that thinner paper. That is the paper that you can buy. Um, I purchased that at Hobby Lobby, one of the single sheets, Paper Studio brand. Sometimes, um, sometimes it'll cut okay, and then other times I have trouble with it wanting to shred on me. And it'll kind of tear, like I was talking about in the last video. And that's when you have to unclog your blade, so to speak. <laughs> so for um, Chicago or Chi Town, I want to cut out this C. So I'm going to use. Let me pause just for a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I went and got a lamp. So I'm hoping now that. <laughs> I'll be able to see better, and you can see what I'm doing better. Um, and now I can't really see what I'm doing through the camera anymore, but I'm wanting to do this C here under the, the italic. I want to do the green C. So I would need my shift key to select that C because that is the second image that requires the shift button. The first image never requires the shift button. Unless it's, I don't, I've never come across one anyway, where the first image would, would require the shift button. Only the second one, that one you use the shift key, so that what that's how you get that second image. And so since I need the italic, I'm going to select italic. It's on my overlay here. It specifies italic, so I have that selected. And so now I'm going to do shift C. And it should show on the screen that C in the, in the italic, and it does. I think I'm going to set my size for this one for an inch and a quarter. I think anything smaller than an inch is very difficult. I have done it before, but I don't think you get quite as good of a cut if the smaller the size. Um, so I may, I may have to go down to a smaller size still yet, but I thought I would cut one first and see how it comes out and this is trial and error you're seeing it live <laughs> so let's see what happens I already have my mat loaded and I have all my settings selected and I'm going to hit cut okay so if I wanted to I ran out of memory space, so I went ahead and cut out a few more letters, and because um, I wanted to get, <laughs> while well, my device was deleting out some some data, I was needing to keep my project going with my project life. So I went ahead and um, printed out the rest of Chi Town letters, and look how beautiful. Whoop! Sorry, my N came out. All the letters just came out perfect. And um, they came out of here just beautifully, you can see. Um, what I did was I, I just kept going from one space to the other. This one, I, I had removed the mat and then I had to go back in, so that's why there's a little bit of a space there. But um, whenever you navigate throughout your um, mat and you need to move your um, pattern over to a different space, just use your arrows on your guide and it will take you where you want to go on your mat. So now I'm going to remove this 
piece of paper, which, by the way, I'm very impressed with this paper studio. It cut out beautifully. So that was a thumbs up on that. So now I want to uh, go ahead and cut out my town or my cityscape. Okay, so I cut out one cityscape, and I just wanted to share with you, too, another thing about knowing what size that you want to cut out. Let's go ahead and load the mat. When you're selecting your size, you look at your pattern book lengthwise, and just picture that you're feeding this end into your um, into the feed, and that is so. If you set this, if you when you cut out this image, if you set it for three inches, it is going to be three inches this way, not this way. So that's. Um, a good thing to keep in mind when you're trying to select your size. So, and then another thing, um, because of how I proportion or my placement of the paper, the cardstock, I have to direct my um, paper into the feed. And then I'm going to have to set my settings. And then there's a button here set paper size. So I'm doing that. I just wanted to show you, see if I set this to two and a half inches, press cut. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I didn't set the image yet. Huh? That helps, doesn't it? <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Okay, so now we can press cut and it says characters won't fit, change size or press cut again to fit as many as it will fit. So, we have to change the size, so it's canceling it. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and try 2 inch. This first image that I cut out was at 2 inch, so we'll see. Um, I did minimize the paper. It will work now. So it will automatically adjust the size according to your... Um, slightly pull that out. <laughs> um, it will automatically set the size according to the paper that you um, select when you use your guide and then you set pa pa paper size. I can't talk. It's getting late. This has been really hard trying to get this recorded. <laughs> and unload. coming out super easy. I didn't even need my spatula. So, yeah, it's doing a really good job. Now the paper that I used for this is the um, Premium Cardstock by Coordinations. I got that at Joann's some time ago. And another cardstock that I found that I like a lot is um, from Michaels. So it, I don't get that too much because I don't get to Michael's very much, <laughs> but it is good paper. So um, I am going to go ahead and upload these two videos, and then I will show you the final product on my Project Life video that I will share with you. You'll get to see the finished cutouts assembled in that. So thanks for watching. Bye.